Hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this tutorial, we want to convert a simple line. So as you can see here, when I change the line, it's going to update into a pattern of a series of rotating lines. So uh, we're going to talk about uh, making two circles at the top and the bottom of the line. Uh, then we can define how many of uh, the patterns we need, the count. And then we have a rotation mechanism, which I'm going to explain. So for example, if this is 16, uh, you have to rotate it maximum like 7. It's like uh, 16 divided by 2 minus 1. So you can see that you can just reach 7. 8 is going to break the pattern. And I'm going to explain the concept. Uh, the next thing is the radius, just to give that pipe some visualization and uh, finish this tutorial. So let's get started from scratch. Okay, to get started from scratch, I can draw a line. For example, here I'm going to use the control key to bring it up completely vertical. Uh, to make it as simple as possible, I'm just going to stick with a simple vertical line uh, in this tutorial. And now what we want to do is go to the params menu and bring that as a curve. So let's just right click here and set one curve and bring this line inside Grasshopper. Uh, to make the pattern, let me explain what's going to happen here. Assume that this is the line. Uh, first, we're going to draw two circles. So we need one circle at the bottom and another circle at the top. And after producing that, we're going to divide it into a series of points. So assume that we divide it uh, on any number we want. Then what we have to do is to connect them uh, based on the points we have. So for example, we can connect it completely straight up. I think those points uh, which I have drawn is uh, wrong. But anyway, uh, or we can just shift them a little bit forward. So we can also make it like that and so on. And after that, we're going to also uh, flip the pattern. So it's going to also make another pattern like this and finish the tutorial. Uh, to make the circles, I'm going to go to the curve and use this uh, endpoints. Simply just pick up the start on the end. And, and now we can go to the primitive and use the circle as uh, the place we want to draw the circles. Uh, because uh, we're going to give the points as a shift key to the uh, plane input, let me show you full names here. Uh, it's going to assume it's an XY plane. So whenever you give a series of points to a plane, remember it's an XY plane. So we are actually saying first convert those points into a plane and then give that uh, to the circle. Uh, this is a good exercise because it's going to show you that always uh, see the plane, go to display and preview plane size, define the number so you can understand uh, what we you are doing before going to forward. Because if it's like a more complicated situation, for example, if I just uh, turn this a line like this, it's not going to be an XY plane. Okay, so the algorithm is going to be user friendly. You can fix it later when you show the planes inside it, or you can just turn it off or on anyway. Uh, after defining that, we have to define the radius uh, to make two number sliders. I can also use this params uh, input, sorry, utility gene pool. Double click it, it's a combination of a series of sliders. I can say two number sliders between uh, maybe 10 and 100. We give that to the radius. I think we have to make this a little bit bigger so it gives us better results. Okay, so this is for the first circle, this is for the second circle. And now what we want to do is to uh, make those lines. Uh, before we go forward, another technique I can do here is to rotate this plane, uh, especially the top part. So, uh, for example, let me show you here. Uh, if I go to the curve and use a division divide curve component and let's say 12 for the number of division, it's going to divide those two circles into a series of groups. So it's going to be two groups of 12, which is going to be the first circle and the second circle. Uh, if you want to see those groups without zero, just right click and simplify. And let's go to the Pam's menu, Pam viewer. Uh, you can see that we have those two groups. Anyway, uh, what's going to happen if we connect them as a line? Uh, here is the problem. If I go to the curve and say draw a polyline here and connect them 
as a line uh, it's going to connect all the first group together obviously it's not going to close it because we have to say it's closed or not and then it's going to go to the second group and do that because we want them uh, vertically we're just going to say flip matrix and what's going to happen here is uh, as you can see here they are going to be converted instead uh, instead of two groups of 12 it's going to be 12 groups of two let me show you here by going to the display and picking up the point list and bake it so you can see here it's like 0 1 0 1 and so on to the end okay so the group flipped actually uh, previous of that it was like this it was like 0 1 2 2 11 0 2 11 and that's how we just uh, made the flip matrix uh, anyway, what we want to do is to give this a little bit of a rotation. So why not just rotate the plane we have here, especially at the top, not the bottom, and uh, make it uh, a twisted pattern. So to do that, we can use the vector, a plane, and a tool called rotate plane. And give it to the plane. Uh, right click here and make it degrees because we want to define the degrees for the rotation. The bottom is going to be zero because I don't want to rotate the bottom. I just want to rotate the top. And let's give a number slider for the top. Use the shift key to add it to the angle. And now you can see that we can give it a rotation, which is really great. And obviously we can go from zero to 180 because it's going to collapse. So remember that this is the maximum. Anyway, uh, this is how we can make the first pattern. If we want to make the second pattern, uh, because we made the first circle in the XY plane, here you can see that this is the X, and it's exactly starting the point from the X uh, seam. The seam of the circle is starting from here, okay? So what I want to do is to make a mirror in the XZ plane. Right, so if I make an XZ plane, uh, obviously it's going to give us a mirror. So let's go to transform and say mirror, make the mirror of the polyline, and an XZ plane. And the origin is going to be the starting point. And now you can see it's fixed here. Uh, but the problem is at the top. So uh, how can we fix that too if we want to completely put it uh, on uh, the ending? So that was uh, the challenge we have to do, which is going to fix the top. But before we go forward, let's make a surface from the lines. A uh, surface loft here. It's not going to give you any output because each line is in a separate group. So it's going to say loft it uh, once and with one curve which is not going to give you any output then go so it's going to say uh, loft 12 times with one curve which is not really giving you any output so you just have to flatten it to make it all into one group and also op uh, loft options closed you can see that we can have the surface here okay uh, let's go to display custom preview and give this a custom preview if you want to see that and uh, this line is not showing but it, it is there because the seam of the loft is completely on that line just for uh, a tip I wanted to talk about is uh, a nerve surface always has a seam and the seam is a little bit more uh, black when you look at it the shaded mode uh, so it's going to also affect splitting and those things so remember that it's really important to have a seam so that's there. Uh, let's just give it a swatch a blue with some transparency. So we can just uh, have those lines. Uh, for the lines, we can also give it a surface pipe. Uh, use the shift key to give them both to a pipe with a radius. And why not add those two circles to it? So use the shift key and add circles also to the pipe. And we'll have them here. Okay. So 
that's obviously how we can make it uh, we can also give a custom preview to the pipes let me just give that a black you can also go to the rendered mode if you want to see better preview of the results uh, anyway now that we have the uh, final result let's talk about the uh, upper part which is not going to intersect or not uh, sitting on the right points right so what we have to do here is to fix the algorithm uh, with this technique so assume that this is the count by the way you can download this example file from our website and uh, what I want to do here is to say 360 degrees is divided in the math by 12 parts so this is going to be actually the degree between the lines right so this is like 360 divided by the count so what we have to do here is uh, assume that we are rotating it up here right this was the angle it has to be a multiplication of this number okay so we can fix it by deleting this one and say a multiplication of this 360 divided by count so we can say from 0 to okay let's say 7 and then use the shift key to add it to the angle and now we can rotate it you can see it's sitting up there okay the problem here is that if you increase that number it's going to break at the number 6 which is exactly at the division of this number okay so that's also important to remember if you want to fix that also so you don't run into that number uh, you can say multiply that number with uh, instead let's just divide it by 2 so 12 divided by 2 is going to be 6 and uh, multiply that with a number between 0 and 1 obviously we don't have to reach 1 because 1 is going to break it but anyway I wanted to show you that this is a good indication of how we can define a range of rotations so for example if you don't want to reach 1 you can say 0 0.9 okay and now you can see that you can give it maximum rotation whatever you want and so this is the multi multiplication okay and this is the count so if you increase the count obviously you have more option of twisting it and let's give this a smaller radius now I have to also fix one thing you can see they are not sitting on each other but the problem here is that the result we are multiplying, uh, multiplying with this number is like 9.92 just go to the params menu and pick up an integer and say okay that is a complete number and now it's working okay so I think that's the last thing we have to do and now we have the basics we can change the lines height and remember that this is only for vertical lines if I rotate it it's not going to give you the results but anyway it's not bad it's going to give us interesting things because it's completely straight uh, if you want to learn more about other ways maybe we want to make a bridge I'm going to explain that just check down the below tutorials if you have a horizontal line maybe you want to make a bridge with that uh, we have to add some additional steps and also fix it but anyway uh, this is not bad it's going to give us some interesting results and we can change the radius we can change the count and we can change the multiplication and uh, that's how we can make uh, this pattern. I hope this tutorial was useful. I'm going to put uh, this example file also below this lesson so you can download that and if you have any questions just ask below. See you next time. Bye.